Hello everybody. So let us have the proof of area theorem, especially of 10th C class students. You need to pay attention over there as you missed that part due to some technical problem during the previous class. So please go through this lecture properly. I'm giving you the proof of this area theorem and then back to back applications at least from question number one to four. So look at this. What is the area theorem? This is the theorem which is applied to the two similar triangles ABC suppose and DEF I am taking here ABC and triangle DEF So these are the triangles which are given similar to each other So this is given to you Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF That means I can write in given AB upon your DE is equal to BC upon EF is equal to AC upon DF. Once the triangles are similar, then their corresponding sides are always in proportion. So, area theorem in this you need to prove the ratio of the area of those two triangles, area of triangle ABC, which are similar to each other to that of area of triangle DEF is always equal to ratio of the square of their corresponding sides the ratio of the square of their corresponding sides so these are the corresponding sides and their square ratio I have taken this you need to prove so From proof point of view, when you are speaking over the area, you need to do the construction over there. Suppose I am picking one of the pair, similarly you can apply that for the other two pair also, but at once we can prove it for one pair only. So suppose I will be proving it equal to bc square upon ef square here. So for that you need to do the construction, if you have taken bc and df, the vertex opposite to BC is A and vertex opposite to EF is B. So from these vertex, you need to do the perpendicular to do just BC and EF. So if you are going to prove AB and DE, then you have to draw the perpendicular from C and F to AB and DE and so on. So this is the construction you need to do. Draw. Suppose I am taking here AM and here this is DN. M perpendicular BC and DM perpendicular EF. DM perpendicular EF. So these are the two perpendiculars I have drawn here. Now, if I speak over the area of this triangle ABC in terms of base and height, so I will be writing area of triangle ABC is equal to half and base into height now that is AM similarly area of triangle if you are writing of DEF this definitely will be equal to half into EF into BN that is the altitude half into base into height half into base into height you are looking for the ratio let us divide these two 1 and 2, so you just get the answer half in half. So I am reaching here BC upon EF. I need there, which I have written to prove area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle EF is equal to BC square upon EF square. So 1 BC and EF is already there. Now I need to check how I can prove this AM upon DN in terms of BC upon EF. So AM and DN, I will check. In these two triangles A, B, M and D, E, N. So let us see, given number one here. Now in triangle A, B, M, comma triangle D, E, N. Angle B is equal to angle E because triangle A, B, C is given similar to triangle D, E, F. So once these four triangles are similar to each other, I can say that this angle B will be equal to angle E. And already angle M is given equal to angle M. So that is of 90 degree each. You can mention over there. So finally, what did I conclude here? Triangle A, B, 
similar. So therefore, triangle A B M is similar to triangle D E M by which criterion angle and the criterion. So I was looking for AM upon DM. So AM upon DM, therefore AM upon DM, now I can replace by AB upon DE is equal to AB upon DE. Once you have proved the triangle similar, that is these two triangles you have proved are similar, then their corresponding sides means this upon this, I have taken it to this upon this. But you said here, AB upon DE is equal to BC upon EF. You give it number 2, but AB upon DE, already you said there is equal to BC upon EF. BC upon EF, this is given. Take it number 3. So now if you see from 1, 2 and 3, I'm getting AM upon DM is equal to AB upon DE. But AB upon DE finally I'm getting is equal to BC upon EF. So from 1, 2 and 3, I'm getting AM upon DN is equal to BC upon EF. BC upon EF. That you can put here in one. So this is BC upon EF. So put in one. Put in one. When you come back to this, what happens? Area of triangle ABC to that of area of triangle DEF will be equal to. BC upon EF already is there, but as you are saying AM upon DF is also equal to BC upon EF, so this will be BC upon EF. So BC into BC will make it BC square, EF into EF will also make it EF square. So in that way I reached at my destination so that I can say the ratio of these two similar triangles area is equal to ratio of the square of their corresponding sides. So I took the BC and EF as the pair. I did construction in that way. The vertices opposite to those, I drawn perpendicular from those vertices. And then by applying the formula of area of the triangle, I reached there and AM upon DN. Then I proved is equal to AB upon DE by proving these two triangles, ABN and DEN similar to each other. And then comparing the results, whatever are available with me, whether given or by construction or I have proved in between, finally I concluded, I can prove the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to ratio of the square of their corresponding sides. So that one of the pair out of three I picked up. So if you are looking for this, then you have to draw the perpendicular from the opposite vertex, that is C to AB and F to DE. You can do same way for this and also for AC upon DF from the opposite vertices, drawing the perpendiculars B and E to their opposite sides. So that is the proof of your area theorem. Now from back to back questions like your application part of this theorem. You can see is in exercise 6.4. Suppose you are talking about the first question over there in 6.4. It is given triangle ABC and DEF are similar. Triangle given. This is given to you. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Area respectively are given. 64 and 121. So, area of triangle ABC is equal to 64 and area of triangle DEF 
is given equal to 121 and the units are also mentioned centimeter square so please write that also another thing we will do is EF is equal to 15.4 EF is equal to 15.4 centimeter and then you have to calculate the length of BC now as you are saying that ABC and DEF are similar to each other so draw the figures ABC and DEF are similar and area of this is given area of this is also given length of this is here it is 15.4 and this you need to calculate as these are similar so therefore uh, area of triangle ABC to that of area of triangle DEF finally I can say is equal to what BC square upon EF square to that I proved in my area theorem first the triangles are similar then the ratio of their area is equal to the ratio of the square of their corresponding sides now substitute these values so this is here 64 this is here 121 BC I have to calculate there and upon EF now before putting the value my point of this question will you can I write this as one whole square please pay attention to these points these are some important steps which you need to take care of just from the time management point of view as well as from the calculations point of view if you just apply this knowledge previous knowledge I would like to say then definitely you will be very comfortable towards the end of your answer so why I am asking that because you can see in left hand side 64 and 121 both are the perfect squares and here as for the result these are also the squares so in exponents we did that if the power is 2 in the numerator and the power is 2 in the denominator I can keep those numerator and denominator in the bracket and write the power only once so that I did there so that now I can write 8 upon 11 whole square is equal to BC upon EF square so same powers are there I can cancel those also or you can take the square root also that you did in your previous classes so powers if you can cancel or take the square root you will be getting 8 into EF BC you have to calculate make that subject substitute the value of EF now in last step 8 into 15.4 upon 11 is equal to BC so if you do the cancellation there so you know 11 other 11 5 minus 1 is 4.4 44 11 4 is 8 into 1.4 so BC will be equal to 11.2 cm will be the answer so I am doing this calculation just to make you understand sometimes what happens to it Vina Soche Sabzaya Miha when you put Karan and 15.4 and then you see what kind of chaos is there and then taking square root VC square so beforehand you just give a second thought to all this please so do practices that's why we say maths we just can learn by doing learn by doing so keep on doing all these things and video lecture is there, I am adding it to your knowledge so that you can listen to it also and then apply the same. So that was the solution for your question number 1 of exercise 6.4 in CRD. Application of your APA theorem. Then second question again in 6.4 is a wonderful question from your understanding point of view also. And that was a part of your exercise 6.2 as well as 6.3 somewhere that is in criteria. Now we are doing that in 6.4 also, application of our area theorem. Diamonds of a trapezium. So you are given with a trapezium there. Question number 2, exercise 6.4 and CIT. Here this is a trapezium given to you. A, B, C, D in which your AB is given parallel to CB and the diagonals are going to intersect at O. So this is the information given to you. Diagonal of trapezium AB CD, AB parallel CD intersects each other at O. If AB is equal to 
2 cb is mentioned on this and given ab is equal to 2 cb that means ki ab upon cb is equal to 2 upon 1 so this is given ab upon cb is equal to 2 upon 1 find the ratio of the areas to find what is to find or to do to find here is area of triangle AOB is that of area of triangle COB it's a ratio we need to determine here area of triangle AOB to that of area of triangle COB now we are there in area theorem in proof if you see Easily I can select these two triangles, you know one of the pairs is a vertical opposite angle which is equal to 2. So in triangle AOB, comma triangle COD, you can mention angle 1 is equal to angle 2. These are vertically opposite angles. And then angle 3 is equal to angle 4 are also equal. Angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Do not forget to mention the reason. Interior alternate angles. Interior alternate angles. So therefore triangle AOB is similar to triangle COD. What is the need to prove these two triangles similar? Please again give us a thought to that also. Why? Because I know that and there is application of area theorem and that can be applied only to the pair of similar triangles. So first task you have to do, you have to prove these two triangles similar and the reason for that I mentioned in there is and the angle criteria. Fine. So this is there. AOB is similar to triangle COD. Then ratio of the area as per my requirement. So therefore, area of triangle AOB to that of area of triangle COD. I can mention is equal to AB square upon COD square is equal to ratio of the square of their corresponding sides. AB is the side of AOB, CD is the side of COD, so AB square upon CD square. Again you can mention like AB upon CD on the one whole square and AB upon CD is given equal to you, that is equal to what? 2 upon 1 square, so finally you reach that the answer, 2 square is 4, 1 square is 1, so 4 ratio 1. Please, I was not finding place underneath the same. Do not use the sign of equal to uh, at a time in 3. So you can just go towards down steps. So that AB square upon CD square, 4 AB upon CD, then 2 upon 1. So like that only. Do not work out horizontally. Please go vertically down. That is the rule in mathematics. When we are writing the equations, sign of equality, we just can use animals. Please make a note of that also. So then see the wonderful result because we use this trapezium's property in our uh, basic proportionality theorem question number 9 and 10 was there in your second exercise 6.2 then in 6.3 it was there in application of your criterions of how to prove these triangles. Similar was there at the now to prove the similar how we can add the area theorem for this. So that was the beauty of this question. Now let us go for question number 3. In question 3, in figure it is given that ABC and DBC are the two triangles on the same base BC. So you just take that base, draw these two triangles. BC is the base, one triangle is ABC and another triangle is DBC are there. This is given. If AD intersects BC at O, AD intersects BC at O, so whatever is given, you please do that. AD and BC. So now AD is also joined and are intersecting each other at O, then show that I have to prove this is all given, whatever is given, please mention that accordingly and to prove now the ratio of the area of these two triangles that is of ABC and DBC 
area of triangle ABC to that of area of triangle DBC is equal to what? AO upon DO. AO upon DO. Now again, when you are speaking from area of triangle point of view, I need to think about the formula which I can apply easily and that every one of us knows we are comfortable with half into base into height. So please go for construction there. Again from here you can draw the perpendicular suppose I am taking from this A. A L as the perpendicular and from D I have got D L as the perpendicular over there. So mention that construction uh, draw A L perpendicular B C and D M perpendicular B C. So one perpendicular from A and one perpendicular from D. So this is in triangle A B C and this is in triangle here D B C. Now in your proof, if you apply the formula of area of triangle ABC, what is that equal to? Area of triangle ABC half into base is BC and height is now AL. And if you are talking from this triangle point of view, area of triangle DBC. That will be equal to what? Half into BC. Half into BC. And your height is equal to what? DM. Half into BC into DM. And you are looking for this ratio. So you please divide that. Divide that. Area of triangle ABC to that of area of triangle DBC. Now you look at this. Half BC and half BC. Can I cancel? Definitely yes. Give it number one. So now I reach that the ratio of these areas of two triangles is equal to AL upon DM. But I need to prove that is equal to AO upon DO. So now I have to see, can I prove this AO upon DO is equal to AL upon DM? Now we try and help. A O L and triangle D O M. And you see there one pair of 40 degree opposite angles. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Yes, it is. And L and M are the right angles. Angle L is equal to M 90 degree each. L is your ALO and is your DMO. So these are 90 degree each. So therefore, triangle AOL is similar to triangle uh, DOM so AL upon DL comfortably this AL upon DL I can replace by AO upon DO AO upon DO so give it number 2 so from 1 and 2 here AL upon DM now I can place by AO upon DO so area of triangle ABC to that of area of triangle DBC I will be getting is equal to AO upon DO and root so this is the solution for your Question number 3, exercise 6.4 NCRT, application of your area theorem. Now, let us go for question number 4. If the area of two similar triangles are equal, prove that they are Congruent. Prove that they are 
wonderful result is there which you can add to your knowledge is if the area of two similar triangles two similar triangles you are given with ABC is the one triangle and DEF is another triangle DEF and is a little similar so please write down that given triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF And also, area of triangle ABC is given equal to area of triangle DEF. Prove that they are congruent. Now I have to prove triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So, when I start with the proof, you remember when I started this topic, I shared with you all congruent figures are always similar. What did I say? All congruent figures are always similar, but not necessarily all similar figures are congruent. But here the condition is. This is a pair of similar triangles and I am going to prove it congruent. So what is the condition? Under which condition if the areas of those two triangles are equal? So let us make it the key factor of my answer as area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle DEF. So therefore their ratio area of triangle ABC to that of area of triangle DEF can I write to equal to 1? Of course, yes. Because their areas are equal, so their ratio of their area will always be equal to 1. Now, you said once the triangles are similar, then they are sides are always always in proportion corresponding sides are always in proportion or in area theorem when the triangles are similar then the ratio of their area is equal to what square of their corresponding sides ab square upon bc square is ab square upon de square corresponding sides is equal to BC square upon EF square is equal to AC square upon DF square is equal to 1 because triangle ABC triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF so therefore the ratio of the area will be equal to ratio of the square of their corresponding sides. So their area's ratio is equal to AB square upon DE square is equal to BC square upon EM square is equal to AC square upon DF square will also be equal to 1. Let us pick first one. So when AB square upon DE square will be equal to 1, this implies what? AB square is equal to DE square. So therefore, you can conclude that AB is equal to DE. And similarly, you can prove, no need to give the proof again and again, because same steps you can follow to prove BC is equal to EF as well as AC is equal to DF. So give it number 1, number 2, number 3. So from 1, 2 and 3, you can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by SSS criterion, which is to be proved. So 
hence triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So that is the solution back to back of all these four questions ready for your reference. From your understanding point of view, very important. And onwards, question number five to your number seven already I have uploaded in YouTube lecture. You can go through that also. So that is the complete solution of your exercise. This 6.4, which is based upon your area theorem. So this was the solution of exercise 6.4 NCRT question number 4. So by the next time, if any doubts are there, you are most welcome. Please do ask. Till then, have a nice time. Bye.